A homeless encampment on Vancouver's west side has been dismantled after fire tore through overnight. This comes just one week after hundreds of propane tanks and other explosives were removed from the park, with more found again today. CTV's Alyssa Tebow is live at Vanier Park. Alyssa, was anybody hurt in the fire? Thankfully, Mijang, there was no one inside this structure when it caught on fire. There's been no reports of any injuries, which is quite amazing. You'll see in a minute just how big this fire was. And it also fast-tracked plans to completely dismantle this encampment. It wasn't meant to happen until next week. There were weapons pulled out today. There were more propane tanks. There was even an arrest. Take a look at what happened. The charred remains of what was someone's home destroyed by fire. My people from that building could see, they had perfect view of it here. Of course. And they heard explosions and like all sorts of chaos. It looked huge from the picture that I saw. So I thought it was going to be like this whole area gone. Just outside the encampment, it smells really strongly of smoke from here. But you can see these dry leaves that have started curling from just the heat of this fire. There's an electric scooter here on the ground that's melted. Further in, we've got debris and charred logs, a propane tank right in the middle. This is somebody's home. This man goes by the name Tree and says his friend lived here. Thankfully, he wasn't hurt. Yeah, he's fine. I had a talk with him last night. Just two days ago, Vancouver's fire chief issued an order for all structures to be removed from the park due to the fire risk. This is exactly why we we raise awareness and, and put such things like fire chief orders on uh, situations like Vanier Park. With only one structure remaining, rangers started clearing it out, removing a mini fridge, a flat screen TV and bicycles. Also more large propane tanks and various possible weapons, including knives and what looked like a rifle. VPD say they found three airsoft pistols and a BB gun. And one man living in the park was arrested. Police say he was wanted on a BC-wide warrant for obstruction. Using machinery, the final shelter came down, bringing to an end a months-long standoff between the city and those who lived here. I know there's a lot of people who detest this, but I think if it was to come back, I wouldn't care. As long as they were following a little bit of different rules. And what we still don't know is how this fire actually started. Police say that it, it could actually be suspicious, but because of all the cooking materials, the drug paraphernalia, and the heating equipment that was inside this encampment at the time, it's going to be really hard to tell. Major. Well, and given how dry it is, uh, we're lucky that they were managed to get it under control quickly. Now, Alyssa, we've seen, uh, you know, they've been gradually dismantling this in camp over the past few months, but people have always come back or they stayed there. Is there anything being done to prevent people from setting up camp again? Yeah, we were actually here back in April when these campers were first issued eviction notices to get out of this camp, this encampment because they can't set up permanent structures in, in this site. They still, they, it took them a while to get out. We do know that there will be some rangers here overnight to monitor anybody that does come and go from the park, but that's by no means a long-term solution. We asked the park board again for an interview from someone from park board management today. They, that request has been declined, so we haven't been able to put that question to the park board about what they will be doing for the long term here at Vanier Park. Me, All right, Alyssa Tebow reporting live tonight from Vanier Park.